we do is we set it up. We just bought one of them, so we'll, we'll, we'll get like a problem area where we get complaints. We'll set it up for one week going like eastbound, and then we set it up for the next week going westbound. And then we, so we, we want to get like the full week's worth of traffic pattern and flow and speeds and that. And then we give it to, we have our, uh, we have a guy who does like intelligence based policing is, is the title of what he does. So he can go through the numbers and then he'll come back and say, it looks like our morning flow is, is where our, our highest speeds are and our highest counts are. And then we'll do our traffic enforcement based off of, off of that. We do it one week at a time, so we get the full week's worth of data for it. And we've been using, basing our locations off of our citizen complaints. For the most part, what we're finding is that people are not good at estimating speeds. And the, we, we, we've been able to take the data and go back to them and say, look, we ran this here for a whole, a whole week. And we're, we're finding that we have le less than 1% of the vehicles travel at us a speed that's even that we even do traffic stops at. So we we for the most part we've been able to take the the numbers to them and say it's not a widespread problem. And I mean people are coming in, they're going 80 miles an hour on the road. Like, well, we've had it there for a whole week and the highest recorded speed we have is 42. So on speed enforcement and speeding complaints. That's like probably our number one complaint we get. So then we obviously want to be responsive to them. So in the past we would tell officers, okay, sit down there. And then we'd come back with, with whatever our enforcement activity was. We sat down there for four hours. We wrote one ticket, whatever it is. Um, this has been a lot more effective. So that's put out a lot of uh, fires with the city council because they're they're complaint. They're putting out these complaints. Oh, we got speeders everywhere. Speed, speed, speed. And we're like, well, actually, it's not that bad. These are here's the report. See if you can get have your guys do a, a, maybe a, like a blitz down there between eight and nine thirty. And then then they're going down. They work for an hour and a half at the time when uh, the most traffic, most speeds, and then we're doing an, a, an enforcement blitz like that. So I love the reports that we get on it. So. Um, we do a custom report where we where we do highest recorded speed, um, average speed, and then we set our we'll run it like a, with di a different with different designated speed limits like 10 miles an hour over, 15 over. Most of our officers will stop a car at 10 over. They typically don't sight until they're 15 or more over, and so we we will run the same report with those, and then we can just really quickly show people look. And out of the 10,000 cars, these are how many cars we actually would have stopped if we'd have had a car there the entire time. These are the ones that we would actually cite. We've had it in a couple of subdivisions where supposedly things were a big problem and we don't even get to a citable offense in those locations. So. I definitely love that it's covert. I love the, the extensiveness of the reports. I love that I can customize them to what I'm trying to show. Like if I'm just trying to do like a simple count or if I'm trying to show like what this, the 85th percentile, what their speed limit should be, or if we're trying to fo focus efforts on uh, selective enforcement during like peak times when it's actually meaningful. So, but it definitely does, um, the thing I've, well, I guess one of the other things that I like about it is, is it lets me answer the questions or the, from the, to the city council and mayor and uh, elected officials in a very intelligent way. I can, I can back up whatever our decision is by numbers instead of just by an opinion or, so it just is a good, it's a good little tool. I, we're really happy with it. We enjoy, it's been a good investment for us all the way around. Most people don't get out and are standing on the side of the road when cars are going by a lot. So it feels like it's going fast to them, but really they're not even going the speed limit. It's just there's more cars on the road, so the road is narrower, the car is traveling closer, and you're the one in the road, it seems faster.